Hey, what up, Decisive Marketers? And in this video, we're going to be talking about Rada. Now, Rada is a six in one social media scheduling, social inbox, social listening, password, and task management, and link shortening too right so they have all these features built in one now before we get we dive into rada uh, i would like to make uh, a notice here that this video is a updated and a revised video of what i've made previously right because in the previous video uh, i have come across some issues with rada but the founder has came up to me and uh, reached out to me and quickly resolved those uh, issues for me and uh, I would like to commend them uh, on their you know fast uh, you know reaction uh, and and uh, you know I think that that uh, Rada has a great future because they care a lot about their product itself right so before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, if if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content and if you are software or lifetime view enthusiast, be sure to check out the link in the description to join our Facebook group as well. Now let's dive into Rada. So this is the uh, this is the dashboard of Rada. Okay, so it gives you, uh, it tells you, you know, your your tasks, your notifications, and it just kind of gives you an overview over here. And before you, you get started, uh, what you need to do is actually to head over to your profile and, uh, sorry, you have to go over to settings. Okay, and in settings, uh, you want to click on channels, and this is where you connect all your social media uh, profiles, such as your facebook page your instagram uh, business account your twitter account your facebook group your linkedin organization account your linkedin person account uh, your youtube channel your vimeo account uh, and also uh, google search as well and when you connect the account they would actually tell you which uh, you know which feature does uh, rada supports right for for that particular channel so for example this is my youtube channel and in the youtube channel uh, it supports the inbox feature the monitoring feature the scheduler feature uh, but it does not support the analytics feature and for the facebook groups it supports inbox is uh, it does not support monitoring uh, but it supports the scheduling as well and for uh, Google search, this is uh, just for listening, right? Social listening. So uh, it supports monitoring only. And for Facebook page, it supports everything except for, uh, you know, monitoring itself, right? So it depends on the uh, feature that you use, right? It supports on, uh, the, the channel you use and whether it supports those features or not. And uh, if they if anytime your social media accounts are disconnected you can always click on the reconnect button and of course you can remove them easily over here now in the permission uh over here this is actually where you grant your team members right you grant your team members access to these features right so you got the inbox feature monetary feature scheduler analytics passbook uh, utilities and settings over here right so let's dive into uh, radar itself so this is the inbox feature so you have seen uh, you've actually seen that uh, I've already connected some of my social media profiles over here so we've got the uh, YouTube um, uh, we got YouTube messages coming in here so these are youtube comments right youtube comments coming in and uh this uh we've got s this uh facebook page message and uh this is social uh, facebook post uh so someone has already commented on my facebook page and this is uh s uh facebook uh, pri uh message through my facebook page itself Okay, so these are the ones and uh, you can of course uh, sort them, uh, you can actually filter them by clicking any one of this, like uh, waiting, the uh, star, right, any any messages that are archived, any mentions, uh, reviews, comments, posts, messages, you can filter by your channels as well, your sources as well, so uh, this gives you a very good idea of you know managing your social media uh, profiles just through uh, radar itself 
right and then we've got monitoring here as well so monitoring uh, I have done this through Google itself right so this is a uh, this is a uh, Social. Uh, this is actually, uh, you know, listening, uh, listen, uh, listening to monitoring too. So it gives you an idea of what people are actually talking about you uh, on the internet, right? So this, uh, for example, uh, this is from Trust Radius. Okay, so this is a, uh, you know, this is a, this is something that uh, Radar has captured. That my keyword is actually mentioned in here which is actually my name right so this is uh how you where you actually kind of get a good idea of uh the the feature that uh sorry the messages that or, or people mentioning about you on the internet okay and over here uh for ex uh, you can of course uh delete those that are not relevant okay so like this ones are not relevant so i could i could just delete them and keep you know my uh inbox here clean okay so if it is a positive uh if it's a positive comment you can mark it as positive if it's not if it's uh, a neutral you can just keep it as neutral if it's a negative you can uh, click on negative right so this gives you an idea on uh you know uh, what to do right so for example if you want to uh, you can quickly then uh, visit the page yourself and try and uh, reach out to the person who is unhappy if it's a negative is a positive right you want to reach out and say hey thank you so much for you know supporting us right so this actually gives you an idea okay and if you have already reviewed the particular uh, message you can always click on review here right so this is uh, the social me media uh, listening to and of course you can leave notes uh, in the uh, message as well so it gives you an idea of what to do and uh, next we have the scheduler okay so the scheduler so with the scheduler with the scheduler itself you can post to your different channels in here okay and you can actually have image uh, videos gallery link posts uh, text posts and uh, stories would be supported later on and uh, you can actually uh, have a team discussion as well in here to discuss about the uh, post right so you know bef before it is uh, posted you can actually click in and see look at the post before it is uh, approved for publishing itself right and uh and and uh all the links that if you put if you insert any links in here it uh Rada would actually automatically shorten them for you so the link shortener is actually over here in the settings okay over here in the settings and uh, sorry in the utilities tab okay so in the utilities tab uh, utilities tab so uh all you can actually create uh, connect your own custom domain Right, so you can have, for example, uh, go the size dot com forward slash something. Right, so this is what Rada uh, comes in built with for the link shortening feature, and you can also create your own uh, links, uh, shorten links in here as well. Right, so that's the cool thing about Rada. But of uh, of course, uh, the features for the link shortening service is very basic. It's just uh, a straightforward link shortened uh, link shortening too there's no uh, expiring links there's no rotating links there's no uh, inserting of pixels or anything like that at the moment right but they of course uh, are looking to uh, add these features in the future and uh, got the analytics uh, over here so you can create a board and look at the details of you know how your business is actually looking right so this is where uh, you can actually look at your uh, an overview, right? So you can actually add a bunch of widgets in here. Okay, so you can add your features, uh, all your widgets in here and have a good idea. And uh, of course, you can move them around. And, you know, the best way that you can view your 
you know, have an overview of your social media statistics, right? And then the last one would be the passbook. Okay, so in the passbook, uh, this is actually where you add uh, all your accounts, like not not just social media accounts, but it supports any other accounts that you have, and uh, and uh you know it tells you uh it, it kind of gives you the uh, access for everything uh this this password over here it's not the actual password they actually uh, encrypt those the the password for you okay and so that your team can easily access all the tools just through radar itself right so it makes uh makes it more convenient for you to share your password with your team and uh, we already covered the utilities uh, feature and uh, it comes with a link in profile as well so uh, this is this is the link in profile so you can actually set up uh, you know uh, this you can actually create your own uh, you know LinkedIn profile as well okay so uh, I don't think this feature is actually ready yet but uh, once you are able to you'll be able to create your own uh, link in bio which uh, it's it's recommended that you put that into your uh, social media profiles as your landing pages okay so that people can access all your links uh, very quickly and the last one that I want to cover is on task so Rada actually comes with a very simple Kanban bot style uh, uh, view over here for task uh, management. So like social media, uh, any uh, task that you require as in the, for social media posting it is all, uh, you can actually do all of them in here and uh, you can create multiple bots and switch them around if you want to as well. So Rada makes it very uh, simple. Okay, so before I, I kind of end the video, right, I, wanna, I would like to kind of sh uh, talk about some of the shortcomings of uh, RADA. Now, the pros of, of RADA is that it is a 6-in-1 feature. And I know that it sounds crazy that uh, they are actually developing so many features into one. But just think about uh, think about tools that, uh, that, that the bigger companies actually one right like paying uh customers on a monthly subscription basis what would they want they want a you know sim uh all in one tool that solves uh most of their problems and that's what rada is actually building okay of course if uh you know tools that usually focus on one single feature they are usually much uh better and much stronger in the uh, and, and more in depth in uh, what they can do of that particular feature but with radar it actually makes everything a lot simpler and uh, that's what I, I i actually feel that this is the strong point of radar so at the moment if you would ask me uh, the social media scheduling feature uh, it is definitely uh, not as developed as uh, what you see like in Publer and uh, other social media tools out there there is no uh, RSS feed there's no media library at all uh, there's no uh, auto posting from uh, RSS feed so uh, these are some of the features that's missing uh, in Rada, there's no uh, Canva or Crello in, uh, integration. Of course, uh, those are coming soon. Uh, let me see if we can maybe even check out their roadmap over here. Okay, so, so, uh, so yes, yeah, so so this is actually what is missing, and the monitoring feature is not very clean as well. Uh, passbook feature is very uh, is very. Uh, what do you call that? It's very straightforward. So there's no the you are not able. Let's say if you have like two employees and you only want to share access to certain uh, accounts to one member and not the other, you are not able to do that. So it's only able to share all your password, all your accounts, logins to everyone within the workspace itself. Uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention is that with uh, with Rara you can actually create multiple workspaces and switch between them. Right, so that's a that's a 
nifty too if you are managing different uh, businesses all together so uh, and also the task management feature it seems really weird that why would they actually add this feature but if you just think about uh, just you know uh, having a process for example uh, you are supposed to make a post about uh, a upcoming promotion okay then uh, is anyone working on it and is that already done right so it it makes everything all in one right so if you have a social media team that's rara is all they need to kind of do everything that is required so uh, uh you know with the link shortening and, and everything uh they'll be adding like uh you know uh, ability to add pixels into the links and uh, I would say that you know with Rada uh, I'm actually kind of excited uh, what they could achieve uh, maybe six months down the road right uh, with what they have right now uh, it's not something that I would switch to at the moment because I have much better tools that uh, is able to do the social media scheduling for me uh, and link shortening for me and social media listening for me but if Rada gets to a point where it makes more sense uh, for my workflow right I could maybe miss out on certain features but if my workflow is a lot more simplified it really makes sense for me to actually switch over to Rada uh, hence personally for me I'm actually keeping uh, this this account for myself and uh, you know uh, I would love to see what what happens with Rada uh, you know as we move along right so if we if you have any other questions feel free to comment uh, in this video below and uh, I would love to to uh, you know un uh, you know ask uh, to answer your questions if you have any and I'll see you in my next video